You know, one thing to realize is there was a time when we all traveled to workshops and meetings, and we all know the most efficient way to get from point A to point B are trains. But, you know, we all know that cars are more flexible. And, but, you know, one of the things to realize is that this flexibility is something that most people pursue because all you have to do is just get in a car, enter your GPS coordinate, and you're on your way. And, G- and heat pumps are very similar in that sense, that train that uh, heat pumps are very energy efficient, but they require some additional work, some planning, engineering, and additional innovation. There are many options out there. And one thing to realize is that uh, this flexibility that our conventional technologies have is a major barrier. And one thing to realize also is that we need to pursue energy efficient technologies but are also affordable solutions. And to realize that perfect should not be the enemy of the useful. And it's very important at the very beginning to see what can we do to introduce heat pumps that are not being used today in industry and making sure that at the very beginning, maybe our role isn't as large as we would like, but over time, more heat pumps could be introduced into the manufacturing. We all know that heat pumps are about moving heat and not creating. One thing to realize is that you need to realize that you need to have information related about your source of energy or your source of heat and also your loads. And unlike other sectors, it's not that easy. In the real world, it's a very complicated uh, place. And there's very few, and this is a major barrier, there are very few people out there that are have the capability to know what are the capabilities of heat pumps, but also have a very keen insight on the thermal de- uh, demands or what are the, the loads that a certain industrial process has. The other major challenge is that waste heat is not constant. And for us to be successful is waste heat recovery is a major key element. And heat pumps can play an important role Instead of wasting this heat or releasing it into the environment, heat pumps can play an important role in capturing that heat that goes up a stack or is just wasted. So heat pumps can unlock a huge potential out there due to their flexibility. But identifying heat pump integration opportunities is hard. This is something that was identified through the IA heat pump annex. And one of their activities you know, over the lifetime of the IA heat pump uh, program, they've had four um, annexes devoted to industrial heat pumps or high temperature heat pumps. Two of them were related to R&D. Two of them were related to case studies. They have identified the real need to identify where these integration opportunities are. And currently they're planning on a future annex related to high temperature heat pumps. Another barrier that needs addressing is uh, the limited number of manufacturers out there that are able to produce these products. Our priority is to decarbonize heat and industrial heat pumps are an important uh, part of that. One of our things is we need to be focusing on heat and mass transfer processes. And that's a, that requires a better understanding of the thermal management of these systems. We also need better equipment that includes uh, heat exchangers and compressors. We also, I know that uh, earlier on in the earlier slide, it had uh, one of our objectives is low temperature processes defined as uh, less than 150 C. I wasn't given that information ahead of that, ahead of this presentation, but you know, one of the barriers that you talk to a lot of people that uh, operate in this space is being able to develop the heat pumps that are able to perform in 150 to 250. And if you develop those types of uh, heat pumps, you also will have spillover effects that can play an important role in the range of 100 to 150, where today's heat pumps normally operate in, but they're not widespread. The other issue is refrigerants. Uh, Supercritical carbon uh, CO2 is an important option, not only domestically, but internationally. There's a lot of uh, countries outside of the U.S. that are pursuing natural refrigerants. So we also need to pursue natural refrigerants, but also man-made HFO refrigerants too that can operate at these high temperatures. 
The other part is I know one of the objectives for this workshop is a non-vapor compression technologies. In the building technology space, we have been looking at non-vapor compression technologies for um, a few years, but they mostly been focused on cooling technologies. So this is a very broad space on the heating side that have not been given uh, the attention that they deserve. At the same time, we need to pursue hybrid uh, technologies too. And by hybrid, I mean technologies that maybe have a heat pump in it, but also uh, complement another technology that still has um, the ability to capture waste heat. We all know that one size does not fit all, and we need to build flexibilities into our design. There's been a lot of case studies out there, but there's been a limited opportunity to replicate some of these case studies in universal applications. And this is where machine learning and artificial intelligence can help us bridge that uh, gap by having us uh, show some opportunities and showing some baseline technologies. My next slide is major opportunities not being researched. And um, I'm presenting three bullets, and those three bullets are the establishment of uniform methods of test. One thing is that today, most manufacturers are not able to compare in their facilities, are not able to compare different systems and how they actually perform. In reality, we cannot do test procedures or actually test some of these systems, but we can use simulations. We also need to per, uh, pursue non-traditional cycles that are low TRL level, um, including carbon uh, supercritical CO2 applications, but also hydrogen could be used as a working fluid in some applications. And then I'm gonna end with the needs for the circular economy, materials and system efficiencies. Uh, we need to look at it from the lens that the circular economy is gonna be an important part and heat pumps have an important role to play. And that concludes my presentation.